Hey guys, this is John Mana for Worship Drummer, and today I just want to give you a quick tutorial on uh, how I input my own sounds into the Roland SPD SX, and um, I'll show you how to get them. But first thing we want to do is power it on, and I have a USB cable hooked up to it, and I'm just gonna put it into my laptop. This is my MacBook Pro, and you're gonna see that it shows now that it is actually connected. And so, command spacebar opens up the spotlight search. So I'll type in SPDSX. There's the wave manager. Now this is um, something you can just Google search for, download it if you don't have the CD that came with it. And so the device, obviously SPDSX, that's what we want to work with it's reading the storage and so basically it will read everything that's on your SPD and so what we're gonna do I already had a new one but uh, you can scroll through everything that is already there we're gonna just go to a bank that's not used so kit name we'll just name this WD for worship drummer tutorial worship drummer tut there we go and so basically we're going to be inputting sounds into this um, in, into the main sections and so I've gone ahead and I've downloaded um, some sounds from that sound those guys are awesome by the way and uh, their websites I want that sound.com and so this is what I did for our church for some Christmas sounds now instead of uh, you know, just buying a whole bunch of percussive bells and sounds and everything like that. I just uh, loaded all these sounds up, found what I loved, what would work for our songs. Let's get another sound. Here we go. All right, let's just take the classic. So all I'm going to do for now, just so we can see it, I'll just copy it right here. It's a WAV file. It's 24 bit, as you can see right here, bits per sample, 24. Now you're gonna learn something. You need to downgrade it to 16 bit. So we're gonna show you how to do that in a second. Um, so let's just pick that and hand drums. That sounds good. Actually, I don't wanna do it that way. I'll copy it and paste it right here and one more why not mm. actually some symbols perfect and so we'll take that and paste it here now the method I used to convert from 24 bit to 16 is uh, something I found on uh, I want that sound.com's website and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just open up iTunes let that load up and I'm gonna take my three sounds hopefully this translates properly um, and I'm just gonna drag them right here for a new playlist so as you can see, it's the wrong album artwork. Um, so basically here are the three sounds we want, but we need to convert them still. So in your preferences, import settings, we're gonna check that out. And we want it to be wave, um, custom. And so you can see now, we'll keep the sample rate at 44, but here, we want it 16 so that's that works perfect for what we need and channel will leave at auto so now what we'll do is hit OK we're good but now see it's import settings well we've already dragged it in so what we'll do is I believe it's right here see right there create wave version and that'll downgrade it There we go. Now, how do we find it? Great question. I just come here, 
this is the one I just dragged under recently added you'll find one two three and if we get info I believe it should show us right here um, file 16 bit so we were able to now make that ready to go into our SPDSX so the easiest method I know is show in finder and I could see right there whoa what happened to that sound alright so we got our finger symbol and what we're gonna do now at this point we still need this window in a second and so I'm gonna grab that finger symbol it's 16 bit and I'm just gonna drag it right where I want it so you can see it's importing it boom right there then I go to my second one and we're gonna ask it to show in finder before it runs away we're gonna grab it there we go and the deep Tom Tambo uh, show in finder right there one two three and basically you can keep going but we have these three sounds loaded up and in fact we can just move them down I don't want to hit that high up on those pads so I exit confirm yes disconnect SPDSX when using I don't know, we manager again reconnect the USB cable no problem so now we unplug our cable and we move over to our pad there we go and so now when we come over here we had set it to 18 so now when we move over to our settings we'll see right there worship drummer tut and then our sounds we put on these pads right here that's the quickest method I know on how to input those sounds and um, get yourself going in no time so guys don't be overwhelmed if your worship leader asks you um, to, to work with this roll in pad don't be overwhelmed um, you know I, I learned this in just a about a half hour watching some other YouTube stuff and I figured it out for myself it's pretty um, easy once you get the hang of it you can go into settings and play with a whole bunch of stuff on controlling the pads how they function but for the basics there you go you have your sounds and they're existing one two and three and the red light indicates that you just played a pad and um, it'll play it'll be red for as long as the uh, the wave file is playing so this one's a little longer as you can see it stays red and then it'll cut itself off and then these guys are a little shorter in their duration so there you have it guys simple easy method on uh, how to put in your own sounds hope this was helpful if you have any other questions let us know in the comments and we hope to do more videos like this in the future just to help you guys um, get going uh, get up and going as quickly as possible um, if um, you're called to so thanks so much guys for listening this is john manna for worship drummer